So thanks for joining us, SJ and Lauren. Congratulations on your, prem your promotion to the Premier Division with Swansea. What was it like the moment you found out, SJ? Um, it was a bit of a shock, really. Um, we obviously, we finished the season with one game to go. Um, so we, we knew that had we won our last game, we would get promoted. Um, but it was a bit of a, there was a period in between where we weren't quite sure what was going on. Um, but everyone was just so excited when we found out, really. Obviously, we couldn't celebrate properly, which was a bit annoying. But yeah, it w everyone was so surprised, but it was really good. Yeah, Lauren, did you have any sort of celebrations, any virtual celebrations? You can't really do much in lockdown, but did you do any celebrations? No, I know. Um, the day we found out, we all um, celebrated on our own at our houses. But the week later, we all had a Zoom call and we did a little quiz. We had a, a few cocktails and that was really nice just to <laughs> celebrate as a team. Nice. And have you, have you got any celebrations planned after lockdown for as a group? I think Kath Mee will be in charge of that as she normally is, but um, I think we'll all just meet and we'll like have a few drinks, maybe go for a meal or something after when lockdown's over. Yeah, and SJ, what, how has the season gone for you? What sort of challenges have you faced during the season? Um, I think we found it quite sort of difficult. I mean, to begin with, we just said that we wanted to sustain the league. That was our aim at the start of the season because we, we knew we had an influx of new players and people who hadn't played National League before. And we hadn't really played as a team for a season before. So we thought it would, you know, it would be difficult. But we got off to a really good start. And I think we were all quite surprised at that. And from then on, actually, it's, the momentum just sort of kept going. And we had, we had a really good first half of the season. Um, and yeah, the final games after Christmas as well, we, we ended up doing really well, which was really good. But it, it was tough. Because obviously the teams you play against, they've got a lot of experience and a lot of players who've been there for a number of years. So that was hard. Yeah. And what do you put that success down to? Um, I just think everyone wanted to do well for each other. You know, we were a new team and you had a lot of new people who were coming in who just wanted to sort of do well for the rest of, rest of the girls. So we all, we all sort of wanted the same thing. Um, but yeah, we, we were all just on the same page and we all wanted to do as well as we could, really. Yeah. And Lauren, did you expect to do as well as you did this season? I don't know, because there were a lot of changes with a lot of new players came in and then obviously a new coach. So we didn't really know what to expect. But I think um, having the new players really benefited us because quite a lot of them were quite young and quite fit. Um, and they brought a different element to the side, which we haven't really had before. So I think um, in terms of that, it really helped our, like our side. And the morale was really good throughout the year. And I think that was a massive um, thing moving forward for us. SJ, how, how big is this for Welsh hockey to have, to have you guys in the Premier Division? I think it's massive for Welsh hockey. I mean, obviously, however many years ago, Swansea were actually allowed to play in the English um, National League. And that was huge in itself. And I think now having a Welsh side up there competing with the best of the best in the UK, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenge, but I think it's amazing for Welsh hockey. And I think hopefully it will bring maybe people who left to go and play in the Prem, you know, maybe they'll want to come back and it'll bring the hockey in Wales up again, which I think would be really good. And um, it's also doubly impressive for you guys also studying at Cardiff Met and Cardiff Uni uh, respectively, which Lauren, what, how do you balance all of that? Um, it is a struggle, um, but I think just using the time that I have wisely, so any spare hour I have, I'll either be um, doing some exercise or doing some uni work so that I'm catching up with that. Um, I think the travelling is quite difficult to Swansea, but um, like we travel in groups, so we're with the girls and they're quite understanding if we have to do work in the car or things like that, but it is just mainly time management with um, just using any spare time that you have. Um, just to do work or do important things like don't waste time on Instagram and things like that. <laughs> yeah, and SJ, how, how do you balance it as well? Um, I found it okay. I've, I found it fine. Obviously, like Lauren said, we all travel together um, down to Swansea once a week and then obviously the games this year have been miles away. So we've all been on minibuses and things together. So it's just about trying to manage everything. You know, obviously in my final year, I've had quite a lot of assessments and things on at the minute but 
yeah like Lauren said it's just about managing time and everyone understands if you're sort of doing work and the minibuses and things trying to get everything done yeah and what's life under lockdown like how are you both staying fit it's quite challenging um it's obviously not the same you're used to playing hockey sort of three four days a week with your friends and things so that's that's something I found quite difficult sort of not seeing people um but I've just been get, getting out there I'm lucky I've, I've got a bike at home so I've been able to sort of do some of my sessions on there but just just trying to keep fit and also there are sort of hockey whales gym sessions that they put on once a week and everyone sort of gets involved with that so that's good yeah and Lauren how are you finding lockdown and the support you get from hockey whales how's that for you yeah lockdown is challenging because um obviously you can't do what you normally do but I think um, Hockey Wells offering loads of support in terms of S and C because we do um, a workout together every Thursday, which is really nice. And um, it just brings the team together. And then Swansea, we do a yoga session, which isn't as hard, but it's more for team spirit, um, <laughs> which is nice as well. Um, and I'm quite lucky because I live on a mountain, so I can do hill sprints and things like that around. So that's quite nice. But it is just um, keeping in contact with the girls and just like sharing each other's programs, what we're doing, and it's just nice to keep morale up. Wow, that's amazing. Which mountain do you live on? Timbala. Okay. Well, yeah. must be quite challenging up and down the hill every day, but yeah, that's great. That yeah. keeps you busy. Yeah, the dogs don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how much are you both missing hockey and looking forward to next season being in the Premier Division? Um, I'm missing it a lot. Like I say, sort of with Swansea and Welsh, um, some days, some weeks, you'll still be playing four or five days a week. Mm. And, you know, obviously I miss the hockey, but it's the people that you're sort of doing it with that I miss more. Um, it's been quite nice. You know, it's just certain times during the year where things are quite busy and like having lockdown and taking time to sort of reflect and actually have a bit of time with my family and things. That's, I've enjoyed that as much as I could. Um, but I'm excited for next year, definitely. Excited for things to hopefully get back to normal, uh, you know, September or whenever things do start to get back to normality. Yeah, and do you feel you'll appreciate hockey more having, that, having, having had this break? I think so. I think I'll definitely be excited to sort of get back to things. I'll obviously take a bit of time to get used to playing again. because it'll be, obviously we finished in March, so it could be sort of, four or five months until we pick up a hockey stick again which could be challenging but yeah I'll definitely be looking forward to it. Yeah and Lauren how much are you missing hockey and what are your ambitions for next season in the Premier Division? Um, I am missing hockey massively like SJ said I'm really missing the girls Um, it's so nice just to meet up and uh, train together and things like that have chats Um, I'm missing the competitive side of it as well because I'm quite competitive <laughs> um, but ambitions for next season, as it is a new league, it will be quite different for us because we haven't played these teams before. So it will be about um, staying up for next season, I think, because we're going to gain quite a, a few new players, I think, and lose quite a few players. So there will be a, like really different team dynamics, but it will be important for us to stay up next season. Yeah. And SJ, how do you foresee next season going for you and what are your ambitions? I think it'll be challenging, definitely, like Lauren said. And, you know, like I said earlier, they are the best teams in England and Wales now. Um, so it'll be tough, definitely. But I think, like we did this season, everyone who's going to be involved next year is just going to be so sort of excited and we'll definitely take the challenges as they come. And like Lauren said, sort of staying up next year would be a massive thing for us and for Hockey in Wales if we can you know, keeping that lead for another season on. So I'm excited. It's obviously, it'll be tough, definitely. We know it's not going to be an easy, easy thing at all. But yeah, we're all excited, I think. Awesome, yeah. Thanks for your time, girls. And looking forward to seeing how well you get on next season. Thank you. Thank you.